Hello everyone, we are doing something a little different today because I feel like I've been in a bit of an art funk. Like I'm so busy that by the time it comes to actually going out and sketching for myself, just having fun, I have choice paralysis and I overthink everything and I just talk myself out of it. So I thought, okay, how do I get out of this funk? So I'm letting my husband choose my art supplies for today and I have no idea what to expect. He's upstairs right now choosing the materials. He's putting it all in the bag. I'm not even gonna look at it until we get to our location. So we're gonna go out to breakfast and then we're gonna go to the harbor and I'm gonna see what he brought for me and I'll just have to use it. There's no choices, it's all there. And we'll see what we can do. So she's laid out a bunch of stuff for me here. I think I'm just gonna go with the original idea and pick whatever I want. I might mix it up though. I'm thinking instead of all this, cause she's got ink and watercolor and gouache and all that, I'm gonna probably include something that she hasn't actually included in the options here. I think I need to find it first. Okay, so we're gonna go for normal pencils, color pencils, wash and watercolor, book, and then just to make it like even more ridiculous and complicated, I'm gonna take this ink. Kind of looks like a sort of oceany. Take that so that you can paint with that. That'll be interesting. So it'll be ink, pencil, and watercolor or, or gouache. Okay, he's ready. Let's see it. Uh, okay. Let me feel it. <laughs> no, it's not too heavy, but I'm very curious. Yeah. I don't want to shake it because it'll give it away. I put out a ton of art supplies on the desk for him to choose from, and he says he didn't choose any. So I'm terrified of what I'm going to have to use. So let's just go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Truth. Well, no, it's not quite. We're gonna go walk to the harbor. <laughs> what did you bring? Stool, water. Let's go. Okay, so we're here at the harbor. We have some boats in front of us, and I'm just gonna sit here. And I already chose my subject because I think if I wait and see what you he packed for me and then I choose I'll, I'll have a harder time choosing I'm just gonna go with this boat it's my subject no matter what's in here all right let's see <laughs> I'm so nervous oh oh boy okay okay oh god what's <laughs> you put everything in here no I didn't we have watercolor and gouache um we have my sketchbook we have ink. Ooh, that's a fun color, actually. Uh, ooh, oh my gosh, I forgot about these. These are so weird. These are watercolor pencils and there's a different color on each side. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh, just graphite? Okay, just regular graphite. These are yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And some erasers and things to use for pencils. Okay. And a brush, which is what I, I usually use this with ink. Do you have any rules for me this, yeah, in this project? You have to use the pencil first. The regular pencil? Uh, whatever you want. Okay. Just, yeah, you have to use the pencils first, then the watercolor, and then you have to finish it off with the ink. Oh, and okay. Can I use gouache instead? Aye, so, yeah. Because it's beige paper. And gouache shows up better on this paper. Yeah, that's Is fine. That okay. Okay. Yeah. I specifically picked those graphite pencils because I think they were mine and therefore they must be crap compared to your other pencils. They aren't. That's a good brand actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh. The Karen Dash uh, pencils I picked because they were in a shiny gold case. And yeah, and then I thought it would be quite interesting to see if it was possible for you to do the thing with a pencil then layer it over with the watercolor or gouache because it's going to involve water so it's going to make it all 
mixy. Oh, I see. Okay. And then finishing it off with the ink and the and the brush. Which one am I supposed to use? Or both? The pencils. What? So you don't care which one I use? No. Nope. It's gonna get weird. Pick one for me to use. Okay. Okay. Um, we're just gonna start. Those are really similar. <laughs> Blocking in the big shapes first. Just to get the overall like proportions, which it's always a little weird on boats because they're they have strange curves and I mean if you get most of the things in the right position, it's fine. It, it's uh, obviously a boat, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna do a base layer of gouache over my sketch. And then I'm going to come back in with all the li little details with my ink. Oh, this is the only brush you gave me. This is really hard to control. <laughs> when it's wet, it, it's like very floppy and it's not super precise. <laughs> so no, maybe my plan isn't going to work. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. What if I dip this in the ink and this softens? And I can do the really tiny lines so it's actually a combination of ink and watercolor pencil. And then I can use that thin line to do all the li all the like leading lines and all of those wires and everything. Oh. That'll be very experimental. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll try. <laughs> okay. So here she goes now. She's, um, she's realized that I have uh, messed up and only brought the ink brush. Well, uh, yeah, this me. is this is not the gouache. I didn't. I, I didn't mess up actually. I didn't. I, I meant to do that. Um, just to give her a, an additional challenge. That's what it was. It's just so floppy <laughs> and hard to control. Oh, hee haw, floppy heel! It's just very different than what I'm used to, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, you're an artist. Yeah. And um, oh no! <laughs> that's a floppy. Hey. Uh, sweet of the brush. So this is just the base layer. Once I once this dries, I can do another layer on top. But I need to at least get something down first. How long is that going to take to dry then, since it's uh, holding a lot of water? Not long. So now let's just drop some white in for the top. So do you think you'll uh, ever allow me to do this again, or is that me banned? <laughs> no, I like it. I, like I said, the choice paralysis kicks in, and then I just talk myself out of doing anything. I just can't believe I forgot to bring brushes. <laughs> Actually, no, I deliberately didn't bring brushes. The, the, the ink brush was for the ink, and I figured that your uh, method for painting would be finger painting. What? Yeah, finger painting with your gouache. No. I already get messy enough with my gouache. Oh, it's so hard to get precise lines with this. Yeah, well, like you said, you're not looking for <laughs> perfection. I know, but I want something kind of replicating what I see. This doesn't represent me. White on these poles. You've decided to go darker then with that, have you? Dried too light? Yeah. And if you look at the side of the boat, there's wherever a plane change happens, the light either reflects or is darker, so. Mm, there's also like I think it's maybe the sky or something that's reflecting off of that sort of back quarter of it. Yeah, basically just it's exactly as what you've done. Like the colors themselves don't have to be perfect, but the lighting is what I want to make sure I capture. Yeah. I've seen an artist using a fan brush with gouache 
and they are very, very loose. And it is so good. And it's funny because I think, oh my gosh, I like this one little brush is giving me like I'm struggling. But if you practice with something enough, like you can make it work. So if I kept practicing with this, eventually I would make it work. I think I've just thrown you off a bit by not giving you a proper paintbrush. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm totally out of my comfort zone with this one. So, but again, if I kept going and kept using it all the time, it would become normal and I would be able to do my usual thing. Forcing me to think about things differently. In what way? Blending with the gouache kind of differently than I would normally. I'm using more water in the upper layer. Usually I use more water in the under layer and then just layer thicker and thicker gouache. But this is kind of like a watery brush, so I, I'm just like naturally using more water. It's, it's definitely been already been interesting. Okay, I'm pretty much at the point where I need to start doing details. This one's super sharp. I'll use black. So that's actually going to kind of mix with the blue, I think. I actually don't know. We're going to test it out. Here she goes now. Instead of a dipping pen, she has a dipping pencil. Yeah. Oh, it's going to stain it, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Okay, um, nervous. Do you... Oh, it works. I have to dip it a lot, but... Yeah. It's probably because the wood soaks it in. Yeah. Maybe the more I dip it, the more it'll just stay wet. Yeah. Plus, do you have to, like, keep it really light so that you don't accidentally put the pencil on? I am. I'm pushing down. Oh. So the pencil is coming through here and there. This is really interesting. I can't really get, like, super, super thin lines with it, but... Yeah. It's because you've not got your... Um... Oh. That was a rough one. It's because you've not got your sharpener. Yeah. Also, I think it just softens it so much. Okay, well, I'm going to accept the fact that uh, a lot of these are going to be very scratchy, but yeah. I kind of like it. It kind of goes with the roughness of the gouache here and there. Mm -hmm. Have I ruined your pencils? No, I just, I mean, like I said, I forgot I own these. I think it's good because it kind of loosens me up a little and I'm not obsessed over every single tiny little mark. So this is actually good for if someone is trying to loosen up. Because uh, you kind of have no choice. <laughs> right, get yourself a pencil and a well of ink. Yeah. So many lines. I think now and then it's good to have like a bold line. Mm. Guard railing along the, along the side. Oh! That was a big one. That was a big one. line. I'm just going to use this. Hmm. Ah. The Posca pen would have been so nice. Not much more I can do after that point, so. Mm, you've done pretty well, to be honest. And in fact, see this? So yeah. you've actually kind of nailed that. Kind of, yeah. Uh. Right. That's, uh, that's the game. Straight in front. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty much done. And someone just parked in front of the boat. <laughs> <So> <laughs> we're going to stop and <laughs> just call this one done. And... Okay, so since this was so fun, we have an idea. We want you to leave a comment with your top three choices of material. You could even specify color if you want to. Wolfie is going to tally all the votes up and choose from the top few. And he's gonna pack my bag for me next week and we're gonna do this again. I'm not allowed to look, so for one week I won't read the comments. Vote for whatever materials you want him to bring. And I'm also gonna let Wolfie choose my subject next time, which I already regret saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's on camera now. Okay, so thank you all so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you had fun. And don't be too harsh on me <laughs> with the results. <laughs> At least I enjoyed myself, right? Okay, make your votes and we'll see you next time. <laughs>